prayer for personal reflection and growth this Easter season, written and read by Emma Danzi. Philippians 3.12 says, Not that I have already obtained all this, or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Easter is a holiday that we as believers are privileged to celebrate. As we ponder the many festivals and holidays that are on the traditional Jewish calendar, they were all pointing to the ultimate sacrifice that would come in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We are called to celebrate His forgiveness of our sins and the security that we have in our salvation in heaven with Him forever. If I'm being completely honest, I have not valued or prepared well for many Easter's in my life. It often got overshadowed by robin eggs, baskets, and a big bunny. Or it became about finding that perfect Easter dress to wear. This year, I am pressing into the season, Lent, to really prepare my heart to celebrate. This is a strange concept because every day is a day with new mercies and celebration in the life of a believer in Jesus. However, in knowing the holiday is coming, I can take time to reflect, pray, and seek God in His Word so that day will be an even more meaningful celebration of my Savior. How are you preparing for Easter this year? In what ways is God reminding you of His great love for you? We do not delight thinking on the sufferings of Christ, but when we do, we gain a greater appreciation for the cross. Today, I invite you to join with me in praying together to intentionally reflect in three areas, our sin, His greatness, and His Spirit's leading. We will pray through each concept to enable our hearts of praise for our greatest gift we have ever received. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for being our Savior. Thank you for the gift of Easter. As we come to you in prayer today, we want to begin by asking for your forgiveness. We are humbled that you came and died for us personally so that we could have new life in you. Forgive us for our selfishness, for our pride, for our lust, for our bitterness, for our disobedience, and for our judgmental attitudes. We have broken every commandment. We have not even kept one law. We are imperfect sinners. We need a Savior because our works are not enough to cover the wrong that we have already done. Thank you for covering our sins and becoming sin for us so that we might have your righteousness. Thank you for gifting us with your Spirit in our hearts. You give us hope. You give us the ability to live by the Spirit and not by our flesh. We reflect on your greatness. Jesus, thank you that you are supreme over all. Thank you that you are perfectly good and holy. Thank you that you are perfect love. We praise you that you are intricately involved in every detail of our lives, and yet you are sovereign and overseeing the big picture. Thank you for not giving up on us. Thank you for seeing us as loved and valued enough that you would come down as one of us and take our place for our sins. We know one day that we will kneel with everyone and everything at your name. So we are not waiting and we start today. We give you glory and honor because you are worthy. We come to you asking for your spirit to guide us into growth and spiritual maturity. We do not want to be where we are now next Easter. May we continually be refined and renewed by you, Holy Spirit. Help us to live in your power and not in our flesh. We desire life change that looks so radical and beautiful that everyone around us wants to know what is different. Help us to be light and salt. May what you did for us define us and give us continual confidence in our mission on earth. We praise you, Jesus. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.